Hi YouTube, Susan here. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I am doing a review on my Vision AX desktop with a 27 inch Acer display. Um, I have had this set up since uh, August of 2017 so it's long overdue uh, and some people have been asking so I'm finally getting to it guys. Um, anyway, um, I just wanted to give you an overview of this, this, uh, computer setup and, um, how I've been using it and anything I've found that I don't like or had problems with or really like or whatever. So, uh, anyway, here we go. Um, Okay, let's let's briefly take an overview of the computer so that you can so you can see what it is I'm talking about. Um, I do have a screen capture program uh, running, so here we go. So you can see what is on the screen in front of me. So we're all on the same page. <laughs> anyway, <coughs> excuse me. A little cloggy here today. Um, this is um, my uh, Vision AX desktop. It's a tower and um, a 27 inch Acer screen. It's high def screen. Um, it is running a Windows 10 Home and it's a 64 bit system. And it has uh, for a processor an AMD A8 7600 Radeon R7 10 compute cores 4C 6G uh, 3.10 gigahertz. So it is pretty fast machine. Uh, it has 16 gigs of installed RAM, which I ordered it with. <laughs> I have not added to that RAM. It is what it came with. Um, let's just go to the device manager for a minute here so you can see. Um, it has two hard drives. Um, one is 118 gigs and that uh, is where Windows lives. That's the operating drive uh, or C as most would uh, refer to it as. And I also have a storage drive which is a terabyte in size on board. It's it's in the in the uh, case which I find really handy to have a separate drive inside there so that should anything happen to my machine that drive should be protected because it is not physically part of C. So it will be <laughs> extra. Uh, okay. Um, I do have a portable uh, hard drive plugged in. Um, I have a, a portable DVD drive rather uh, plugged in uh, because I chose not to actually buy the computer with a DVD drive in it uh, because it is a um, tower. I can always upgrade later. I can go into the store and buy my own DVD drive with the specs I prefer and just install it in the tower. It's too easy to do, especially when you know what you're doing. Okay. Um, let's get on here. Uh, of course, I've got a keyboard and mouse. Um, the monitor is as I said, it's a uh, 27 inch uh, high def. It's running um, 1920 by 1080p. So it is uh, definitely high def. Um, the color is phenomenal. I, I really appreciate the color uh, palette on this screen and the ability to display really, really uh, intense images of anything I choose to um, surf to or if I take photos um, I can display them properly. Uh, okay processor there we go. Um, AMD 
A8, 7600, Radeon R7, 10 compute cores, 4C, and 6G. Okay, that is a quad core, as you can see, um, running 3.10 gigahertz. So it's, it's plenty fast, as I said. I have never had it lag. I've never had an issue with the processor um, being able to handle multiple applications all at once. <laughs> I have not out overloaded it at all. Um, it's doing everything I need it to do. Um, as you know, obviously, I'm a YouTuber, so I do my video processing on this machine. I do um, my general everyday surfing. I do emails. I answer comments, and uh, I watch videos myself on YouTube. Um, Plus everything else I do. Um, I do play games on this machine. Um, not high intensity games. I'm not into that, but I do play games. So um, I have no problems at all keeping up with that. Um, okay, let's see. Here we go. Uh, let's see. Next. Um, as I said, there is the 118 gig. That's where the OS Windows lives. Uh, I've got about mm, a little over half of it left I haven't used. Um, there's 63.5 gigs free out of the 118. So I still have room on my main drive. Um, I'm about three quarters full. I've only got 384 gig left out of my terabyte drive, which I have to declutter. Um, I will admit to that uh, quite often. I, I uh, save things and I end up with duplicates uh, because I don't remember that I've saved it before. I saved it to another location, so it's not always apparent. I need to refine things down and actually keep one copy of everything and I will drastically reduce the space I'm using. Um, the one thing I did find with this machine when I first purchased it, um, the screen flickered quite a bit and uh, I had trouble tracking down what it was but I eventually found out uh, this machine came with a um, VGA connection for the screen. Uh, even though it does have, on the back of the screen, it does have uh, HDMI input. It has all kinds of different inputs that I could use. And it came with VGA connector, and I used the VGA. I mean, it, it came with it, so yeah, connect it up. Um, and I, when I took that out and I put an HDMI cable in that I had purchased separately, uh, the screen all of a sudden cleared up. So I think it was a bad cable. Now I'm not sure if that was my doing or if it was from the factory, but I don't really care because, um, now I'm connected to HDMI. I get a much nicer picture anyway. And it really wasn't that big of a deal for me to replace the cable. So I'm, I'm not upset about um, getting that replaced or anything. It's not a big deal. Um, other than that, as I said, I haven't made it stall out. I haven't had problems uh, doing multiple tasks at once. I haven't had a storage problem, as you can see. I, you know, I still have some storage left, and it's been over a year. Um, what else can I tell you? I'm really, I'm happy with this system. It didn't cost me all of that much. Um, I did buy it off of MDG.ca, so I'm making payments per month, but I can pay it off at any time with no. Uh, penalty. So um, I'm pretty happy with that. Um, it gave me a computer back when my all-in-one system crashed. Uh, the uh, video on it started to really go 
and because I'm a YouTuber, I needed a computer. So uh, in order to get one and to make it financially feasible, um, I chose to go to mdg.ca. I will be making a video on what it's like to deal with MDG. Um, as soon as I get this one done and I've got a laptop that I bought off of MDG and I have to update you on that one too. Um, that is more recent purchase so uh, I will be coming out with that video as well shortly. Um, but I thought I'd better get this one done. This is my original system. Uh, the overall uh, star rating if you like star ratings. Um, out of five stars I would give this setup that I've got, um, I'm going to say four out of five stars. That is um, given that I had the trouble with the cable. Basically, nothing in this life is perfect, okay? So it's five stars out of five is suspect to me. I don't like five star reviews because nothing's perfect. There is always something that could use a little help and for this machine it was the cable. Um, I, I really can't pick on much else. Uh, I like the color on the screen. There's plenty of storage. Um, it, 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 it does the work I ask it to do. Um, I have added um, a Logitech HD um, camera as well. So uh, that's what I'm recording this video on. <laughs> um, besides the on on board the the uh, on screen view here. Um, but other than that, what can I say? I would definitely um, suggest you give it a try. Uh, Vision AX desktop uh, if they still have them. I haven't looked lately. Uh, but I am really happy with them. It's really easy to uh, take care of it. Um, you simply vacuum out the, the fans and stuff uh, regularly and you clean it off with, uh, I use alcohol and a, a microfiber cloth and uh, you're good to go. So anyway, thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.